man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Season 2 Career Mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, about to do race 34 36 of Season 2 of the Career Mode. Going to Phoenix International Raceway for the Checker Auto Parts 500. Last race was at Atlanta and it was kind of alright. Uh, I felt like I could have had a top 10 finish. The car felt like that in the first part of the race, but it seemed like the second part of the race, it, it, the car just didn't have the speed like it did in the first half. Uh, after the pit stop, even though my pit crew did a good job on the pit stop, um, still ended up, I believe, 16th if I remember. 16th or 17th. Anyways, it was outside the top 15. Um, so, hopefully for a better result here at Phoenix. I'm not sure what to expect since we go here once, e once in a season. Uh, so, let me go into team management and see what's going on with that. Uh, garage. Uh, chassis number 6 being built for 8 more races. And overhauling chassis number 4 for 1 more race. Uh, let's see. Building engine number 7 for 8 more races. And overhauling engine number 6 for 1 more race. And then building body number 7 for 5 more races and overhauling body number 6 for 1 more race. Uh, so that's what's going on. I'm not quite wanting to I'm probably not going to buy any more shop editions until after this season, to be honest with you. I want to save, save up some money so I can be ready for the next season. See how that goes. So let's go right into race weekend. Let's do chassis number... Oh, wow. See... This has better tire grip, but less tire wear than this one. But I'm still going to go with the better tire grip. Uh, so I'm going to go with chassis number 5. Uh, engine number 4. And body number 4. And it's a car range 64, so we'll see how this car is here at Phoenix. Let me get on the qualifying and see where I'll start. Off turn number 4 to complete qualifying here at Phoenix. 26 on the first lap with the 27-26. Wow, this uh, second lap was slower. Even though the first lap I kind of messed up turn three, the second lap was slower. All right, well, Tony Stewart's on the pole, no surprise about that. Uh, let's just get this race going, going from the 26th starting spot. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Barney, this is quite a unique track. Tell us about it. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different, and it all adds up to some great racing. The 82 car will soon be renegotiating with sponsors. That team has proved to be a wise investment for all their sponsors. I'm sure they'll make another offer. Jeff Green hasn't run well on his qualifying attempts at the speedways this year. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. That's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you. An unusual back of the pack start for Michael Waltrip. You're right, it's gonna be tough for him. You get so used to starting up front and then you have an off week and you have to start towards the back. Then when race day comes, you feel like you passed a thousand cars at the end. And worse yet, sometimes you never make it to the front. The engines have fired and the cars are rolling off pit row here at Phoenix International Raceway. Tony Stewart and Jeff Gorin will start in the front row. Let's get this race here at Phoenix underway. Well, I got to the bottom lane. That's exactly where I want to be as we're going to complete the first lap here at Phoenix. Oh, McMurray! Ah, he would dive bomb the first corner. And now I'm stuck on the outside lane again. Not where I want to be. 
Oh my god! Okay, that was a little bit of a bold move there by me. To try to get down from oh, I got front end damage now. Just to get down in front of Kevin LePage, and then of course at the same time they were breaking for the corner I got in the back of McMurray. So we'll see how this car performs once we get some laps in this car because um Oh Mike Skinner hit the curb. I remember hitting that curb. Uh, last season and uh, kind of destroyed my car. Alright, up into the top 25. It's like this car is a little bit on the tight side. Because we've completed three laps now. Trying to catch uh, Casey Mears. Oh, oh wow, okay. Yeah, I honestly um, didn't really have any high hopes to run this race here at Phoenix because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to perform Michael Waltrip. That's the second driver that's basically dive-bombed me. Except the first time McMurray didn't make any contact with me. Michael did. Jesus. I want to get to the bottom of the racetrack again. I can't. This car is tight. Oh my gosh. Uh, don't expect me to get any sponsor objectives in this race. Even uh, Steve Park is ahead of me, which is not good. Can't get to the bottom lane anymore. Oh, break for the corner. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I even got to the bottom lane there. And I don't want to hit Ricky Red anymore. I've hit him a couple times in the last couple races. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Uh, I came. Oh, my God. I, oh, fuck. I came up in front of Biffle down the straightaway. Damn it. Don't hit me. Just be nice. I'm sorry for what I did. Besides, she's slow anyways. What does it matter? Oh my gosh, car. What in the hell is up with this car? This car is loose going in the corner. It's tight coming off. It's a bad combination right now. It's what I call the bad combo. Well, I'm up to 23rd for my 26th starting spot, but I'm not gaining much at all. Oh gosh, you see what I'm talking about? I said it a few laps ago that that curb can destroy you. God, Lee, Robbie, going how much? I didn't feel like I dive bombed the corner there. Man, Robbie, going to slow down way more than I expected him to. I'm gonna make some enemies in this race, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, I don't like this race anymore. This is a terrible race. I didn't even get my sponsor objective in qualifying. I don't feel like I'm gonna get him here. Oh my gosh. I'm in the grass. God, Lee, I feel like Robbie Gordon's breaking so much more than he should. And now Ricky Rudd is. I can't even turn. I can't even keep this car straight in a straight line. This car is awful. Jimmy. I mean, not. Uh, Jimmy Johnson is behind me. Cars all screwed up. Ah, <sighs> uh, just hope for a bare pit stop, I guess. That's all I can do. Yeah, Jimmy's gonna definitely get around me. You know, I said uh, Michael Walsh had an unusual starting spot in the back. Johnson did as well. I feel like they're breaking more than they should. Just in my opinion. And 20 laps to go. Soon gonna have to make a pit stop. See, it's loose going in the corner, but it's tight coming off. That's why I'm, I, you know, I don't know if I want to loosen up the car on the pit stop. Because I'm concerned about the entry of the corner. Well, there's Steve Park ahead of me. He's one of my sponsor objectives if I finish ahead of him. Got 
So I'm about to get by him now. Also about to get around Jerry Nady to get in the top 20. There are cars heading down pit road now. I'm gonna wait a couple more laps. Oh, there's a bunch of cars heading down pit road this lap. Still trying to get around Jerry Nay, do this for the 14th spot. However, green flag pit stops are going on, so this is it really for 14. Oh my gosh. I might go in their lap. Yeah, I'm gonna go in their lap. Nah, I'm getting low on fuel anyway, so I gotta come in next lap. Cars leaving pit road right now. There's Mark Marin, Bobby Labonte. Got one down low. Crap, I'm stuck in the outside lane. Let me get to the bottom. Clear all around. Oh my gosh, Johnson! Jesus! I'm not gonna fix any of the damage. Let me put it down there, at least. God, Lee, Jimmy Johnson, man. Hopefully it's a good pit stop. It's supposed to be a 16.6 .6 second pit stop. We'll see if they reach their mark there. Okay, 16.2, just about, just almost a second faster. You know what I noticed on that pit stop too is that Jimmy Johnson didn't even stop in this pit box. So I guess when I was coming down pit road, Jimmy Johnson was trying to get by me. I don't think he initially was gonna come on pit road. Although he hasn't come on pit road yet. So I, I think he's coming on pit road now. I'll see here. Oh my god, Bill Elliott! Off! Okay, get. Let me get to the bottom lane. Just get by me, Kevin LePage. Oh my gosh. So I'm not sure how far I'll drop back after the cycle of green flag piss ups done. Bill Elliott's this far back, too. I'm quite surprised by that as well. Looks like all the pit stops are about to be done. I'm 28th, I guess. Wow, I dropped a few spots. Well, uh, first off, these guys ahead of me pitted like a couple laps sooner than I did, so they had the fresher tires for a little bit. Save your tires. So we'll see how my car is in the long run here. Oh my god, car! Oh my gosh. Please don't get that sideways. I am back up to 26 just where I qualified. I 12 laps to go. I'm still two laps now. Who's not pitting yet? Someone hasn't pitted yet. Still two laps down. But Kosh comes out, that'll kind of suck. Actually, actually, maybe not as much, because leader still has not pitted. I don't. Mean, I'm. I mean, I could push pause to know who the leader is. It's who hasn't pitted yet? Jeff Burton and Jimmy Johnson. I'm not sure if Newman and Dale Jarrett has pitted yet. So Jimmy Johnson has not. Well, here's the thing. Like I said, Jimmy Johnson. While I was coming down pit road, I guess he was his he was initially just trying to get by me, and I forced him down into the apron. That's why I made contact with him while I was coming on the pit road. But he ended up falling into the pits. Now he's out there on the track. Uh, it looks like the leader is heading down pit road now. About time. I was starting to wonder when he was going to come on pit road.
no wonder I'm back to 26. I, so that means if I get by him, they're gonna have really good fresh tires. Yeah, Jeff Burton's on pit road now. He was the leader. Catching Michael Waltrip a little bit. Got Bill Elliott also ahead as well. Wow, did I get a good run going in that corner? Gonna get around Michael. Oh my god! Ugh. I mean, I made the car looser. I kind of won that, but... Man, I knew that it was going to be a risk, especially since I've been getting loose on entry. Oh, there's Steve Park ahead of me. At least if I can at least get one of my sponsor objectives, and that's to finish as Steve Park, that'd be nice. That would be nice. We'll see, though. Got seven laps to get by him. Oh, someone's blowing an engine. That is Terry Labonte. Just blew an engine in front of me. Oh, fuck! Jeez, this car! Either the car didn't want to turn or I pushed up the track because I got a little aggressive. I'm not sure. In a way, that could have really been bad. Billy had just barely scraped the wall. I did get around Steve Park, so I want to see if I could st just still stay a ahead of him. Oh my gosh, Beast Car. Getting around Bill Elliott for 21st. You know, this is actually going a little bit better than I expected to perform here at Phoenix, honestly. Just before this race. Before I started recording, I was, wasn't was really having any high, high expectations for this race. But this is going a little bit better than I expected. I mean, this is still not good. I mean, I really don't want to finish this far back. Not my ideal to finish this far back, but you know what? I mean, could have been worse. Say that much. God, Lee, the front damage. The, the left... Oh, wow, I hit the wall in straight straightway. Nice job, Joseph. Um, the left front damage I got was because... Um, uh, from Jimmy Johnson when I was coming on the pit road. The right front damage is when I got from hitting Robbie Gordon. Uh, maybe I could try to get a top 20 finish. That's also another of my sponsor objectives too. Average finish in 20th. That's average finish. I need to keep that going. This would... Oh, help! Oh, fuck! Wow! Oh, no. I let Bill Elliott get by me. Holy crap, car! Okay, there's Billy. I wasn't sure where he was at. Trying to get around Jerry Nadeau. Good. Maybe I might get around Ricky Craven. We'll see. Turn car, please. Okay. Next race is at Rockingham. I'm kind of looking forward to it a little bit. We'll see as they hit the white flag. Ricky Craven! Okay, what's up? Got by him. Oh my god, car turn though. <laughs> no, Ricky Craven, I want 19. Still got another lap to go though. I <laughs> kind of blocked him down there. Oh my god, but I'm messing up my corner while doing it. Holy crap, this car's not wanting to turn now. Okay, there he is. All oh, that smoke I created. Okay. Oh, hang on, car. Man, this car is just a bad combo of the handling. Off turn number four, gonna end up 19th here at Phoenix. I'll, I'll take it. It's a little bit better than I expected. And Dale Nart Jr. wins. Okay. It wasn't Tony Stewart for once. Alright. A rare caution. So, yep. Alright. Got a decent amount of money. It's not too bad for sponsor income. Okay, not too bad. I'll take it. All right. Rockingham, next race. Oh boy, we'll see how this goes. See how this goes. Ch -ch 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 
Yep. Let's go into team management. Uh, let's see. Garage. Uh, six more races until chassis number. S I mean, seven more races until chassis number six is built. I got a good uh, good chassis going in. Uh, building engine number seven for seven more races. Got a good engine going in the Rockingham, and then body number seven being built for four more races. Looking good. Might do some more repairs and stuff right now, or overhauling. How much would this bring me up? Sixty-seven to sixty-three. Uh, sixty-three to sixty-three. That's not gonna do me any good anymore. Chassis number one. I'm gonna let me overhaul this one for two races. It's not gonna be done until next season. That means I'll have decent stuff by the time next season comes along, which is good. Let me see. Let me see. This engine number six is sixty-seven, sixty-three. How about this one, sixty-four, sixty-three. 64, 63. Uh, this one's got a little bit worse of it, so let's uh, do this one. Yeah, th this won't be done until Season 3. But I'll have some good stuff going into Season 3, so it'll be good. Uh, and this one needs some work. 64, 60. 64, 59. That's 67, 61. Let's do 6460. Okay. I did some spending here. So now I'm overhauling body number four for two more races, overhauling engine number four for two more races, and overhauling in, uh, chassis number five for two more races. So this will all be done um, by the time um, Daytona comes along next season. So that'll be good. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll take it. All right. So uh, next race is going to be at Rockingham. So I will see you guys at North Carolina Speedway.